Will anyone be using Windows 10 in about one year from now? Or will it be around for quite some time? To answer this question, we first have to ask, why are some people leaving Windows 10? Well, firstly, Windows 11 is available, so some have upgraded their computers from Windows 10 to Windows 11. Secondly, many new computers are sold with Windows 11 installed, and that has been the case for a good few years now. And thirdly, Windows 10 support ends on the 14th of October 2025. So for those building themselves a new computer, they're not very likely to install Windows 10 anymore. So when support for Windows 10 does come to an end, will everyone make the move and rush towards Windows 11? Or perhaps another operating system? Well, let's look at the statistics to give us a clue. According to StatCounter.com, a little under 60% of all Windows desktop users are still using Windows 10, and about 38% are using Windows 11. These stats include up to February 2025. Windows 10, represented by this line, came out in July 2015, and the number of people using it went up a lot over time. At its peak, 82% had Windows 10 installed back in December of 2021. From its peak to early 2025, Windows 10 usage has gone down by about 24%, but it's still used by almost 60% of all Windows users. Windows 11 came out in October 2021, and the number of people that have moved over to Windows 11 has gradually increased. As mentioned before, about 38% are using Windows 11 in early 2025. So let's make our own graph using the data from this one so that we can try and predict the future. So if Windows 10 users keep declining at the same rate as they are now, then Windows 10 would be finished with in about the year 2033. And Windows 11 would overtake Windows 10 in terms of number of people using it, in the year 2026. But because Windows 12 is due to come out this year in 2025, Windows 11 probably won't keep rising this much, but instead might look something more like this. But there's another thing to add to this equation, because when support for Windows 10 ends on the 14th of October 2025, Everyone will still be able to use Windows 10, but from this date onwards, there will be no more security updates from Microsoft, which will leave Windows 10 computers more vulnerable to attacks. So maybe from this date onwards, the number of Windows 10 users could decrease rapidly, leaving very few people using Windows 10 by the end of the year 2026. But to get a more accurate graph with better data, Let's look at how Windows 7 became less used after Microsoft stopped supporting it. This chart shows the number of Windows users for each version of Windows from October 2009, which was when Windows 7 came out, to February 2025. Windows 7 peaked in November 2014, with 63% using it. Support for Windows 7 ended in January 2020. You can see after that, the number of people using it did decline, but not as rapidly as some might expect. In January 2023, three years after support ended for Windows 7, there was still about 10% using it. And in January 2025, five years after Windows 7 support came to an end, there's still a little over 2% using it. Any version of Windows tends to tail off quite gradually, even when support has ended, so it's likely that Windows 10 won't end so suddenly. And there's another reason Windows 10 could be around for quite a while. These are the minimum hardware requirements for Windows 7 and Windows 10. The hardware requirements for both 7 and 10 are almost identical. So if you had a computer running Windows 7, then you could easily upgrade for free to Windows 10. But 
Look at the hardware that's needed for Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. Much of the hardware needs to be better. By the way, there is no Windows 11 32-bit version. There's only a 64-bit version of Windows 11. So how many PCs meet or exceed the Windows 11 hardware requirements? Well, if your computer was built between 2025 and the year 2020, then it should easily meet the Windows 11 system requirements. Before that, some computers have the hardware for Windows 11 and some don't. And if you go back far enough, no home computer will have the hardware required for Windows 11. This graph is only a rough representation, but you get the idea. So because of these higher hardware requirements for Windows 11, not quite so many people will be able to switch to Windows 11, which may mean that more people will continue to use Windows 10. But we also have to consider that some of the Windows 10 computers will become very old over time, and therefore some will eventually be out of commission. So taking all this into account, Let's change the line graph for Windows 10 and Windows 11 to see my final estimates. By the year 2030, I'm quite sure there will still be many people using Windows 10, although it won't be as popular as it is now. And by the year 2035, I'd imagine there will still be quite a few using it. One thing I've noticed after looking at all the data is that when any version of Windows comes to its end of life, and is no longer supported, not everyone rushes to upgrade to a newer version of Windows. Many will stick to the version they have, and may upgrade years later. Anyway, take my graph with a pinch of salt. This is just an estimate based on what's happened in the past with previous versions of Windows, and various other statistics. Anything could happen between now and then. Well that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.